Hi, I'm Tom. Welcome to the Red Barn. Today I'm going to cover how I made these very simple blast gates out of quarter inch plywood and four inch PVC and a little glue. <clears throat> I made them so they fit inside fittings like so and so you can stick them in between your couplings or your elbows or your tees or whatever you use. I personally use the thin wall sewer pipe. It's cheap and it's plenty strong for the application. So if you're interested to see how I made this, stick around. So I started out with some scrap um, pipe pieces and I just did some quick measurements to get an idea of how big I wanted these blast gates to be. I decided on a six inch by six inch square and so here's the initial design I came up with. Basically it's two rails in a middle section and they have little teeth that end up hooking onto each other to keep you from pulling the blast gate all the way out. So in order to start I had to find the center of the outer pieces so I could um, put the four inch hole in each one of them. And then I spent some time preparing my hole cutter. Um, I was just making sure I got that diameter exactly correct and then once I did um, I also noticed that there was no way to hold it down with my hands and so I was sure to use my non-marring wooden clamp to uh, hold that piece down so uh, I didn't get my fingers smacked. This particular um, hole cutter is pretty dangerous because it's got a lot of um, overhanging pieces that can easily grab you and smack you and things that I had to learn the hard way. So once I got those holes fit to fit perfect, I uh, grabbed the pieces, stuck them in, and I began mixing up my two-part epoxy. I put a generous layer on all, all the way around the uh, circumference of this pipe. And when I insert the pipe into the plate, I make sure to rotate it to evenly distribute the epoxy and uh, just make a really good seal and bond with that wood, between the wood and the PVC. So it was time to start gluing things up. In order to prepare for the glue up, the first thing I did was I sanded down any protruding PVC, um, any uh, epoxy residue, and I also smoothed out the inside of the outer plates just to make operation of the blast gates a little bit smoother. I applied glue to the rails. First I had to clean out my glue bottle. These glue bots are great, but they do get clogged and you have to clean them out occasionally. Quarter inch plywood tends to want to bend. Um, it's very hard to store it without it bending on you. So it just requires a lot of clamps to persuade it to stay where it needs to be. Here I'm just doing some tiny adjustments on the ears on the actual gate so it'll fit inside the channel that I'm creating for it. The 
This next step I took because I realized that the thickness of the gate and the thickness of the spacers are going to be exactly the same and it may make it difficult for me to open and close the gate. So I decided to take a 30 second off of one side of the gate and it helped smooth it out as well. So now the glue is dry here, so I'm just taking the clamps off. And I didn't like how the gate partially obstructed the opening when I um, opened it up all the way. And so what I decided to do was open it up all the way, lay it down, and then mark how much of it actually protrudes into the opening. And I took it over to my bandsaw and just cut that portion out. The amount that I took out isn't enough to make make it so it doesn't fully close and so it just worked out that way. So now I'm doing my final glue up and I'm placing the gate in there before I sandwich the two pieces together. of clamping pressure and then in order for me to be able to get a good grip on the gate I decided to add a little bit of a handle just trying to figure out how to best clamp that as well so there it is all clamped up Here's the finished product. Sorry, I was a little out of frame when I did this demonstration, but hopefully you get the idea. It stays open, even in a vertical position, so that's nice. And the operation is very smooth. So I wanted to take care of the fact that there would be an opening on the underside when the blast gate is open and it may reduce the amount of suction pressure that I have on the system. So my solution was to take a piece of foil tape, fold over a portion of it leaving some of the adhesive still exposed, and then attaching it in this manner. So it kind of will hinge and then so when it's closed it can push out the excess dust and when it's open the suction will will close it and so you don't lose any suction pressure. So here I am adapting my dust port on my table saw just with a few layers of this aluminum uh, duct tape and uh, once I got a good fit there I committed it by adding a couple more turns of this tape on the outside and I really love this tape it's got some super strong adhesive on it and it makes really solid connections. So that's how I made these uh, blast gates here. Um, I had plenty of uh, materials around, so I actually made several. Um, got some still gluing up. But uh, like I had mentioned before, these are made just to fit inside couplings, like so. And um, they go in between the couplings, between the coupling and the piece of machinery. I do some, some adaptation with this foil aluminum tape <clears throat> because not everything fits together. Dust ports generally aren't uh, the right size to fit pipe, but um, it's a real easy way to adapt your sizes because usually it's only off by a fraction of an inch. Um, these do a really good job at uh, sealing off the air and then as you can see, I also, in the video, I also used foil tape to make a little flap on the end. And the purpose of that flap is to um, be loose so when you close the blast gate, any accumulated dust can get pushed out this end. But then when it's open and the vacuum is on, the flap is just barely uh, hanging over the opening and the suction will, will suck it closed. And so you're not losing any suction you know, wasting your suction power through these uh, blast gate openings here. Um, I don't know how well it'll work, only time will tell, 
But like with all my projects, I do plan on updating um, this build and and uh, after I use it for some time to um, just keep you guys updated on whether or not it worked out. So I do plan on, I can easily throw together some plans and sketch up if there's interest out there. Please let me know. And if there's enough interest, I'll put together some plans and I'll make them available for free. Um, and, and I'll just link them in the description below. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, please don't forget to subscribe and like and share with your friends so I can continue to make uh, content for you to consume. Thanks a lot and I'll see you next time.